Today in Blue Springs, there was a competition for fastest gun in the United States. Well, this gun isn't real, but the guns being used downrange, they were very real, and it was all for the ladies. The International Defensive Pistol Association only holds two events that are female only, and one of which took place in Mississippi on Saturday. Skills range from seasoned sharpshooter to first-time competitor. The host of the event is Dee Dee Carter, who owns the shooting range with her husband. This is the second year she has held the all-female event. When they asked us uh, last year to have the inaugural, you know, we were like, well, let's jump for it and see if we can pull it off. And we were so pleased. And uh, we had 50-something shooters last year, and our numbers increased this year, and we're around the 60 mark. And it's not just women from Mississippi who show up. Female shooters from all over the country came to the event. Jackie Russo is a retired law enforcement officer from Seattle, Washington. It's been great to be with a beautiful group of women who have the same passion and who enjoy shooting. Trisha Horvath drove down from the land of the Hoosiers, Indiana. When she heard about the all-female shooting competition, she signed up right away. A lot of times when you go to these sports, women feel intimidated because all they're shooting with is men. So when we came here, I came in with a little bit of a competitive feel and then as I started to meet people I softened right up and I was like I don't even care about the competition I just want to make friends. Yes the word competition is in the name. Yes there are officials there to keep score but those aspects as Horvath said fall to the side. What Carter is doing is creating a little family who get to come to Mississippi to spend time with one another and fire off a few well-aimed rounds in the process opportunity for ladies to you know come out and hang out together. The the competition is is truly friendly. Uh, you know everybody wants to do well, but we all cheer for each other. Carter said that next year she hopes the event gets bigger and better. And some of the ladies around here they've already booked their trip for 2022. Reporting in Blue Springs, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 Sports.